Okay, let's start. Um, <laughs> oh, I can't. I never remember. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I scream, I scream, screamed. Yeah. In the streets. Have <laughs> day. <laughs> Hi guys, so today we're going to answer a few questions about um, our college application process because yeah. Jessica and I are both seniors in high school and we've gone through it. I just I just finished um, applying to everything yesterday and she has gotten to a school and it's all <laughs> done already. So we're gonna answer questions for you because um, I think it would help you if you're going to be senior next year and then I don't know It'd just be interesting to see how the process was for us. So the first question is How many schools did you apply to? Me? Mm -hmm. I applied to one. No, you didn't you applied to- Oh wait, no, yeah. I lied. I applied to <laughs> Like four actually four. Do you want to name them or? So I applied to Hopkins ED, UMich, University of North North Carolina at Chapel Hill, and Binghamton, early action. Okay, so I applied to eight colleges. I think like six of them were early, and then two were regular decision. So I applied to Binghamton, Macaulay, UT Austin, Hofstra, St. John's, NYT, Master of Cornell, and then now I've gotten four acceptances and I'm waiting to hear back from the rest. All acceptances. <laughs> the second question is what was the most stressful part of the process? Essay writing! Always. You like never know what to write and then you're so stressed and then you're like oh my god how do I phrase these words in like a fluent flowing And then there's like manner. the word um the word count. Oh yeah, the yeah, word the count. The limit. Um, I think the most stressful part for me was, yeah, the essay writing. Cause the deadlines are easy if you like know everything and when it's supposed to be due. Then writing the essay and making sure that it like fits for that school and like whatever you're writing makes sense. That's the hard part. The third question is, do you know which college you're going to? How <laughs> I don't know where I'm going yet because I didn't get all my acceptance letters yet, but she ED'd to Johns Hopkins and yeah, she wait, got in. Got a rapture school. Hopkins. Um, yeah, you know. Oh, uh, wait, I don't know if it's one of the questions. Okay, it's not, but like, how did you feel when you got in? Oh my God, I was jumping on the streets. Like I <laughs> saw the video. <laughs> yeah, so I was like walking out of school and then like people kept telling me to check but then I didn't want to check because I was going somewhere with my friend and I didn't want to be sad and so like I didn't want to check at school because then people were around me, you know? Wait, so they emailed you during school? Yeah, it came out at 3 p.m. Oh, So wow. then by that time we were out of school mm -hmm. and then I was like walking with my friends like two of them and then they kept telling me to check so then finally I gave in and then I checked and I was like, oh my god! And they were screaming in the streets like right outside my school and then people were just like staring at me but then I didn't care because I got into hockey. Well Bing was my first one so like that one I was gonna be excited no matter what because all, like all my friends got into UBuff already mm -hmm. and then I was just like oh my god I'm not gonna get into college and prior to like any acceptances I actually thought that I wasn't gonna get into anything. Obviously you were. Um, so then when I got into Bing I was like really excited. I started shaking and like I was Skyping with my friend and we saw like someone online posted that they got in. So I was like, oh my God, I have to check my email. Mm -hmm. So I went to check and then it was there. And then I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And then I shut off the Skype camera because I like could not, like if I got rejected, I don't know how I would yeah. act. Mm -hmm. So then I shut it off and I shut off like the sound or whatever. And then, and then like I got in and then I saw like the confetti thing on the letter. <laughs> yeah. And then I started freaking out and I like ran downstairs. I was like, I got in. And then for UT, that one was like less, uh, like exciting. Really? Cause... That would be more. No, I was just like sitting in bed, and then you know how I check my email like 50 times a day. Yeah. So then, so then I saw like this email and said that, um, 
like within the last 24 hours there was like an update and then oh, they wanted yeah. me to check it. So then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. And like, I didn't think I was gonna get into UT because it's a out of state school and it's harder. Um, also because that school, they take like 90% of the kids that are top 10 or 25% in their state. Mm -hmm. So like, it's so hard to get in from out of state. And then I was like, there's definitely no way I'm gonna get in. And then I clicked on it and I was like, congratulations, you're part of 2022. And I was like, what the heck? <laughs> like what and then i like ran downstairs and i told my mom and then she was like whoa but uh -huh. like i don't know if i'm gonna go there or not just because it's like kind of far away yeah yeah no money yeah the fourth question is how early should i start my college application process i mean obviously you should start it early when did you like, start um okay i started writing my common app which is like the main essay mm -hmm. Probably end of the summer because I I was like okay I need to get this done before school starts because I know that school is like gonna be a lot of work and I wanted to like get all my essays done or like all my early essays done but then I just didn't because I'm a procrastinator and I leave things for the last minute but I like at least got a rough draft of my common app done by the end of summer so that's when I started I think I started I started in the summer yeah you, she <coughs> she's like very on top of her game so I think I finished uh, my common app essay during the summer, like even before school started. And then mm -hmm. for all my supplements, I opened a new document on Google Docs for like each one that I had to write. Yes. Yeah, and then like put the prompt in. So I knew like how many I had to write and then I could keep track with the deadlines. And then like you just start writing whenever you have time. And then if you read your essay again over like the couple of weeks later, and you realize that like you don't like it or something, you just revise it. And then at least you're not like starting out blank with nothing. The next question is how many teacher recommendation letters did you get and from what subject teachers? I got two, the general, like, cause most schools only require two, yeah. so you don't need more. And then you get one from your guidance counselor. So I got it from my physics teacher mm -hmm. and my English teacher. Okay, so you know how people say, that it's better to get one from like a yeah, English, humanities yeah, and then humanities a, a STEM, yeah. But, yeah. but like, does that really matter? That's what my guidance recommended, so they could see like both sides of you, but I don't know. That's, That's true. What most guidance Yeah. I don't, like my, my guidance counselor didn't really say anything about that, but I got one from my trigonometry teacher and then from my physics teacher. So there's both STEM. And mm -hmm. it didn't really, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it didn't really hurt my chances, but I wouldn't really know. But I don't, I don't think it really matters. Yeah. The next question is, what was your common application essay about? Mine was just like kind of personal, so I'm keeping it vague. Yeah, I haven't even read yours yet. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I think I asked, and then you're like, I mean, like after you got into college. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh. Okay, so I just wrote about like how I like this is kind of generic and I thought it was kind of unique but then oh, everyone did tell everyone, me the topic yeah everyone yeah. started writing about this so I was like okay I guess it's not generic I mean not unique so it was basically about how I how like working whatever has helped me go from like a shy little girl <laughs> to like less shy I don't know yeah kind of just like that the worst part was like like when you're about to send it in, send it in, and then you have like five words yeah. over the limit, and then you don't know what to cut down because every word is essential. So then you just start deleting your those. My essay was about a struggle that I had freshman year of high school with like school, and then how I overcame that. But like the little twist that I put on it is like I made it almost like a story, so it wasn't really an essay. And I thought that it would be smart to do that because. Admissions officers have to read like so many essays, mm -hmm. after, like one after the other. And like if you're constantly writing in formal tone and then like it just gets really boring. So I thought that if they read mine after reading someone's who was like really boring, then it would like catch their attention. Yeah, and also you should always try to like write a story with the Common App because the Common App is basically like a narrative. Yeah. So you have to like make it yours. And then the last question for academics is, what major did you apply for? I applied undecided. 
Really? Yeah, I have finally decided. I don't have a major. With a pre-med track, I'm guessing. Yeah. I think, for me, um, I think I put, like, something for every single school. Like, I didn't put undecided. Really? Yeah. I put undecided for, like, every school. Well, because my sister said that, like, even if you put something your first year like going in you can always change it your second year so yeah. like it's not like that big of a deal but i think it's it's just like up to you like if you know what you want to do then just apply for the major and then if you happen to change your mind then you can always change it later on opposite for me my guidance told me to apply undecided to hopkins because like everyone goes there for bio so oh, like yeah. if i put yeah, bio this true. seems very generic so undecided leaves them guessing you know like what is she gonna study who knows but like also if you put bio i think they would have compared you a lot more to like other kids that also put yeah. that Mm -hmm. So like maybe that would have hurt your chances or I don't yeah. really know. No regrets. <laughs> no ragrets. What movie is that from? I don't remember. I just remember this guy saying no ragrets. I think it's from like We the Millers. Oh my god. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so the next question is how many extracurricular activities did you participate in? <laughs> I had track and cross country. Cross country represent. I did two like vo volunteering for kids, like teaching kids. Oh, I volunteer at a hospital. Uh huh. Or a senior council. Okay, so I did tennis team. Like, I also put like yearbook and newspaper, but I don't know if that's considered. I put senior council, that was basically class. Oh, okay. Okay, so I have those three, and then I did volunteering at an EMT. I don't know. An internship over the summer? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I think that's about it. The next question is. How many leadership positions did you have? I think I have, like, leadership, the only thing close to that is senior council, which is, like, student government. Okay, yeah, so that's yeah. leadership, right? Yeah. Um, for me, it was being a head editor for yearbook and newspaper. Yeah, that's about it. Do you want to talk about your stats? I don't, I don't really want to talk about my stats. Yeah, it's just... Stats don't matter. I mean, they do, but, like... It's not everything, you know? Yeah. What What do you think is the most important part? Okay, so I was at this workshop <clears throat> at my school where the the senior admissions person from UChicago came and he told me that the most important thing is GPA. <laughs> oh. Like grades. So I was like really shocked because I thought grades didn't matter that much. But then like he's, he said that's like the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And then, like, even if you have a fire essay, like, some girl had a fire essay, but then her, he was, like, her, her application is what we consider dead. So, like, you can't even fix it with an essay. Because her GPA was, like, really yeah. bad? Or, like, her uh -oh. grades. Yeah. So. Well, my That teacher... totally contradicts what I said before about <laughs> how stats don't matter. <laughs> well. But I just remember that. Like, stats, I feel like everything matters in a way. Yeah. Like yeah, your G I feel like your GPA matters a lot because they want to see that you've continually done well over the four years and like you know how people like they can cheat on their SAT and they can cheat on mm -hmm. APs or they can have someone write their essay for them it's really hard to like cheat your way through all four years of high school yeah like with everything so yeah and also like if your grades aren't like that great your essay can make up for it in some cases it's all just like luck, to be honest. Yeah, it is luck. And like honestly. who reads and sees your file and yeah. stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If mm. it helped you, leave a comment down below telling us that it helped you. And um, or any further questions. Yeah, and um, that's it. So, bye. peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs>